Good morning, ma'am. I am Damian Pasambal and I will be your student nurse for today. Ma'am, can you please state your name? Lysel po. Okay, ma'am Lysel. Today, I will be performing Leopold's maneuver. I will also monitor your fetal heart tone and I will also measure your fundic height measurement. It is in order for me to evaluate the fetal presentation and fetal position. Also, to monitor the condition of the baby and the fundic height will be measured because it correlates with the age of gestation of the baby. So, before we start, I would like to, would you like to um, empty your bladder first because um, it will promote for comfort and also for us to have an accurate palpation. So, ma'am, would you like to empty your bladder first? Kakaihi ko lang po. Okay, then that's great. Um, I will then position you in a dorsal recumbent position. Let me assist you. With your knee slightly flex. Okay. Okay. Also, I will position a small pillow under your one side. This is you. It is to prevent a supine hypotension. Now, before we start, let me first um wash again my hands in warm water. It is to prevent the spread of infections and spread of microorganisms and also to promote um, comfort. Wait for a while. Okay, now ma'am, I have washed my hands already. Um, let me pull up your, your shirt, ma'am. Don't worry because I will only be exposing the ear abdominal and I assure you 100% privacy because all the documents that will be gathered, all the data that will be gathered today is safe and confidential. Okay. Now ma'am, I will first start with measuring your fundic height. I will get the tape measure. Okay. I will be measuring from the top of your symphysis pubis over the abdominal curve to the top of your uterine fundus. Okay, now I will start measuring it. <clears throat> okay, now your fundic height measurement is 40 centimeters. This fundic height measurement mod is used to determine the age of gestation of the baby through McDonald's rule. Now we are done with measuring your fundic height. Now we will proceed with the Leopold's maneuver. <clears throat> Since you have already emptied your bladder, um, we will now start. In Leopold's maneuver, ma'am, it is important that the bladder is empty so that the fetal contour won't be obscured by distended bladder. <clears throat> I have also washed my hands already. Now I will first observe your abdomen and see where is the fetal movement more apparent. Okay, now I will start with the first maneuver or the fundal grip. This maneuver ma'am is used to determine whether it is the head or the bridge of the baby that is in your fundus area. Now, I will position my hands in a triangle position. Okay, now I will start palpating. Okay, I can feel soft and it moves along with the body. Therefore, it is the bridge. If ever I palpated um, hard and round, therefore it is the head of the baby. But with my assessment, it is the bridge of the baby that is in your, um, in your fundus. Now, we will begin with the second maneuver or the umbilical grip. It is to determine where is the back of the baby. I will use both of my hands and place it on the both sides. This other hand will be stationary or will be used as a support. While the other hand will use to be um, to palpate. Now I will start with palpating from top to the bottom. Now I will do it on the other side. Okay. Mom Lysel, at this side I have feel um hard and resistant. Therefore it is the back of the baby. While on this side 
um, my palpations were irregular, therefore it teased the extremities of the baby. <clears throat> now we will proceed with the third maneuver or the pelvic scrape. Um, this maneuver will help us determine what is in your pelvis and also its mobility. Now I will position my hand in an L position in your symphysis fields. <clears throat> Here I can feel hard and round. Therefore, it is the head of the baby in your pelvis. Now I will try to lift your symphysis pubis. If the symphysis pubis can be lifted, therefore, it is not yet engaged. But if the symphysis pubis can no longer be lifted, therefore, it is engaged already. Now I will try to press it using my thumb and my index finger. Okay. Now the symphysis pubis can no longer lift it, therefore it is engaged already. And since it is already encephalic, we will now proceed with the fourth maneuver or the pelvic grip. Um, and this maneuver, it will help us determine the fetal attitude and also the degree of fetal lobe extension into the pelvic. Um, and this maneuver, I will now face at your feet. I will face, I will put my hand in approximately um, two inches in the inguinal ligament so i will place my hand here now ma'am i will slide downward inward along the vertical line okay ma'am at this side one of my fingers slide along the contour without obstruction therefore it is the back of the neck of the baby while on the other side, one of my finger meets with obstruction, therefore, it is the brow of the baby. It means, ma'am, that the baby is in a good attitude. Now, we are done with the Leopold's maneuver. Now, I will proceed with monitoring the, um, the fetal heart tone. Let me perform my hand hygiene again. I will be monitoring the fetal heart tone to know the condition of the baby. Okay, I will get now the stethoscope. Um, Mom Lysel, um, since we have already performed Leopold's maneuver, I have now idea where is the back of the baby. And since the back of the baby is at this side, on your left side, therefore I will auscultate at this side. But first, let me warm the stethoscope. I will warm the stethoscope in order for us to, to prevent you from being startled. Also, we will use the bell of the stethoscope since we are going to auscultate for a fetal heart sound. For low pitch sounds, um, it is better to use the, the bell of the stethoscope. <clears throat> Now, we will proceed with auscultations. I will listen for the fetal heart tone for a full one minute to determine whether the beats are regular or irregular. Mom, your fetal heart tone is 150 beats per minute. I have also differentiated the fetal heart tone to other fetal sounds in order to ensure the correction of identification of the fetal heart tone. Mom, I would also like you to, to encourage you to listen to, your, to the fetal heart tone to promote and to serve as a bond of you and your baby. Would you like to listen to the heart tone of the fetus? Okay. Okay. One moment. Can you hear it, ma'am? Okay. That's great. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Now, ma'am, we are done with all of the procedures. 
we have already measured the fundic height. We have also performed the lay pulse maneuver and we have monitored the fetal heart tone. The baby is in good condition. So now I will record and document all the data that I have gathered and I will talk to your attending physician and will let you know when is the next schedule for your next checkup. Thank you so much, ma'am, and thank you for your cooperation. Thank you, Pa. And let me assist you. Okay. Thank you so much.